you might be missing some of the benefits that a stereo can provide. Hello everyone, Captain Paladin Alp here, and welcome to another edition of The Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time Master Quest. In the last episode, we completed just about upper levels of the temple, and now that we're going to got everything we needed up here, including the slingshot and the map and compass, we're going to go ahead and go on to the depths of the Deku Tree, and we're surrounded by a giant Deku Baba again. I keep forgetting about this. Yeah! <laughs> But we can get rid of those two. That will take care of most of the problems here. And then go ahead and just and see, attack it from the side here. There we go. I don't mind using my slingshot just to, for that, buddy. Go ahead and just get, see if we can find some DQ nuts here or DQ seeds right there. Some. And I might be a little bit liberal on my slingshot, but I tell you the truth, it works. I mean, I'm not afraid of actually using it. <laughs> but we'll go ahead and get that, and we'll just go ahead and drop down here. And go ahead and get this guy out of the way, since it'll be no longer a problem. Use the other DQ stick. And we'll just go ahead and... They're down the hatch. Alright. Oh, we got some more DQ Babas here. Alright. Another stick. We got another one here. Alright. DQ seeds, and of course you got that one over there, just one being a pain in the butt. And that will give you a headache if you're not careful, and that one just respawned. Really don't mind that one, because you're really not in here to cause that kind of trouble, but now that we go ahead and activate that switch. Oh, that hurt, that hurt, that hurt, that hurt. And you gotta worry about that guy shooting behind you. It's gonna be a general nuisance in this episode, that's for sure. <laughs> Go ahead and open this up right here. Alright. Get more, replenish our seeds a little bit. I have to go back over there and get that, I think. Oh, God. and there's a business scrub over there. I think he'll sell you a shield if you lose it, because there's a high probability there's going to be fire keys around, so always keep that in mind. And that's five rupees. That was basically worthless. Alrighty then. Ignore those guys for just a little bit. And let's go ahead and shoot the eye here. Go ahead and go through. Uh, we got a mad scrub here. It's not the one that will give you advice. This, that's actually a mad scrub. Let's go ahead and clean, the, clear the room of enemies here. How dare I to kill babies here without them being born? It's abortion. No, I'm just kidding. It's kind of an issue that's pretty sensitive. I don't like talking about it, really. The great political divide, mostly, and I really don't want to talk about it. The termination of life. Ah, okay, anyway. Enough of me being an asshole. Because <laughs> you don't want me to be an asshole on this thing here. So let's keep going here. Hey, I can use the DQ sticks. All right, get your stick out. Just go ahead and go in here. And now go ahead and light the torches. And that will open up that. So, easy as pie. 
I got, let's see, I mean, I got about, there are 53, we're pretty rich for some, this early in the game here, that's pretty nice. Go ahead, see what this is, heart, okay, don't need it, but that's good enough. Alright, now we got a little puzzle, unlike from last time here. Because we're supposed to, we've got three things going on here. We got that in the middle. We got this right here. To deal with. And we got this to deal with. Let's kind of go ahead and see if we can... Go ahead and get a stick. That comes back. Ah, missed it. Yeah, you gotta be quite active in this one. I mean, th there's no joke about it. We got... You gotta be... Right? Let's go ahead and stay on a switch. I think that will probably do us some credit if we just wait here. I might come back from that treasure for that treasure chest, but all right, let's get. And you have to duck by pressing R. And watch out for that. <laughs> I didn't see that. I'm sorry. I'm just just to kill this thing with a stick here. Just die. Thank you. Ow, I didn't see that either. Jeez, well, I'm not seeing things. I should be paying more attention. <laughs> Where is there another thread around here? No. Okay, I should have seen that go, but you won't be careful of that. But it's kind of like... Uh, no block to move. So let's kind of get on this side here. See if we're going to hit it from the side here. Yeah, we can do it. I just like that. Okay, there's a treasure chest under here, but you, we don't have the Song of Time yet. So let's go ahead and just ignore this for now. We'll come back and get it. And look at this room. We got... Uh, you want to help me just kill him off? I mean, really? Ouch. Yeah, I just want to be a pest, don't ya? And I'm not afraid of using my slingshot. I don't care. <laughs> I mean, really. And we got some bats in here. Looks like. Well, we'll deal with the Gomas one-on-one, -on -one, and I think we'll just do that. So, let's see if I, if I can't kill him. Nah, it looks like we're going to deal with him one-on-one. Alright. I'm ready. Ouch. That was too close. Sorry. <laughs> Next. Oh, crap. Alright. That was a bit careless. <laughs> Alright, I'm sorry. Okay. And we got this one to deal with, so let's just not be a show off. And I'll just use my slingshot then, because my sword capabilities seems to be a little off. Alright, so we got this. Alright, got this. So, go ahead and go through here. And this one got a little puzzle that we cannot see. We got a gold scotilla right up there. Got a couple of graves here. It looks like we could spawn some pose, but I think Navi's pointing some invisible blocks, so let's just not worry about that for now. Let's just get rid of these keys that's because if you light those candles, that's gonna make those the fire keys. So let's just kind of deal with this one at a time here. Alright, so we got this. There's no real threats in this room other than those four keys. And that thing, if you... That dumb and getting killed by that thing, but... I'm not going to judge you, huh? One thing you've learned from other people is that you don't judge them. 
And that's kind of one of the comments I heard from Badass Gamer. It's kind of like, okay, don't judge me! Okay! <laughs> Alright. I get the idea! Okay. Because you've you know, <laughs> it's just funny. I think she'll be turned out to be a great YouTuber. Because she's doing um, Super Mario Galaxy 2. And I've been trying, I've been streaming that, and I've been trying to get past the Grandmaster Galaxy, and I've been really doing horrible on it. Let's go ahead and go for there. The other side, we can't do anything about until until later in the game, so we'll be coming back for that, sure, for sure. Because that room in there has a gold scotilla and requires some bombs, so we can't really do anything more. So let's go ahead and keep going through here. And... It looks like we awakened a big... Kind of be get over here away because we also got a deep big deku baba. Not only that, but we got a business scrub that's over here. Well, you were that dumb and not seeing where I was. And it's sell you my deku shield. It's fifty rupees. I don't have the necessity for having a deku shield. Although they are very kind in the next. Um, temp or dungeon, the Do Dongo's Cavern, where they'll offer it, you know, quite a number of times. So yeah, I mean, if you lose your DQ shield, you, you, know, you have enough rupees, and you can just get another one. But let's go ahead and push this block over. Stand next to the block and grab hold of it with A. While you're holding A, you can push or pull it. If you stand next to the block and press A while pressing uh, control stick f to the block, you can climb on top of it. Pay attention to what the action icon says. Now, that is the only time you virtually she says that, which is interesting. I mean, she's, you know, she, uh, I mean, you haven't, I haven't heard much from Nabby. I mean, she's usually annoying, you know. And, in this temple because you're just starting out, but that... I guess they assume that you know what you're doing, I guess. Because this is, you know, the... Um, a, you know, the Master Quest is a temple for mo mostly experts, because, you know... I mean, these are very complicated dungeons. Whether it's combat or puzzle-related, I mean, these are very, very complex. So, go ahead... That was a bit of a um, premature jump, but it's okay with me. <laughs> it worked. But we go ahead and I think oh the first thing we need to do is go ahead and get the other DQ Baba right over here. So we gotta time ourselves just on the side here. Thank you. There we go. Alright. Very good. Heart, thank you. No way in heck I am doing a three heart run in this temple. Forget it. Well, this is probably as far as my three heart run will go. <laughs> but you run on to the shadow part of here, and you go up here, and you jump up here, and swing your stick, and there you go, down the hatch. So now this is going to be complicated because this isn't. 23 is number one. This is a different one. I mean, this is just, you know, a code that's different. And I think you can try to run it if you know what it is, but I think it is different for every temple. I'm not sure. Every time you play. But, you know, we got hearts here to refill if we do make mistakes. So let's go ahead and get, our, get ready here. I'm going to go reverse. One, three, two. So let's go one, three, two. Nope, not one, three, two. All right, now we try one. Just 
two. Let's try one, two, three. Two. Kind of get out of the way, so whenever I'm wrong, I will be out of the way. Three. No, it's not one, two, three. So we know it's not 23 is number one. Let's try 21 is number three. So let's go. Ooh, close one. Two. And let's go one. And three. Not that one either. All right, so since it's not 23 is number one, we go, we'll start with three. Let's go three. One. Two. Yep, this 31 is number two. Come on, there you go. How did you know a secret? How irritating. It's so annoying, I'm going to tell you, reveal the secret of our Queen Goma to you. In order to administer the coup de grace to the Queen Goma, strike with your sword while she's stunned. Oh, Queenie, please, sorry about that. So, it's 31 is number two. I don't know if it's different for every one of them. I'm not sure, but you could probably use that first and see if you could, um... But now that we've gotten everything we could here, let's just go ahead and go through here. We're going to use these for sure. <laughs> Alright. Our first boss fight in Master Quest. Uh oh. I see an eyeball, but it's not CBS. Ha <laughs> ha! I knew that joke would be used again. Meets the parasitic and armored arachnid Goma once more in a monster quest. Whoa! Little tick to hurt there. Come on. I probably should have used it again. Oh well. Alright, let's see if I can make this a little bit. Practice quite well here. Oh, got him. Okay. There we go. Oh, that was just way too easy. Oh my gosh, that was just way too easy. Well, folks, I don't know what to say about that. That was just too easy. I didn't know about that, to be honest with you. But anyway, <laughs> well, I guess this is it, folks. After three hits like that, he's done. Or she's done, or whatever. But I guess we'll end the episode here now that we defeated Queen Goma, and I don't think we need to go through anything else. So, in the next episode of The Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time, the Master Quest Edition, we can go on into Dodongo's Cavern, and I will go ahead and just do the side questing and everything else in between. So, um, take care, everyone. This is Captain Paladin LP here, and signing off.